Hey what's up guys, this is the FBS here, and LEGO Fortnite just dropped two banger trailers showcasing things to come in tomorrow's update, and shortly thereafter. Now I'm going to show those trailers and do a quick breakdown of each, but before we get into that, please make sure you guys like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Okay, so the first trailer they dropped is for the new LEGO game mode titled LEGO Fortnite Brick Life, and here's the trailer. Look good, feel good, everybody wishing that they could. But let me show you why I'm up next. I'm something you not. I'm feeling fresh, fresh. Head to toe, I'm feeling. Got a few tricks up my sleeve. I'm feeling fresh, fresh. Head to toe, I'm feeling fresh, fresh. Let them know I'm here to flex, flex. Thought they told you I'm not. Now at first glance, it kind of looked like a family friendly GTA, but in Lego, which would be cool all on its own. But the more I watch the trailer, it kind of seems like a massive shared world where there are set buildings and stuff, but then the people that join in can do some minor customizations to make it more unique. I could be wrong on that. That's mainly from the part where they were moving the rack of guitars, but then you see whenever they toss a banana peel to make Pilly slip, it looked like a dedicated spot to toss banana peels. So I'm not sure if there's gonna be a lot of like set areas that you have to put stuff or not, or if it's gonna be a little bit more freedom involved. There are also lots of people roaming around in the background as well. So I think I read somewhere that you can have up to like 32 people in a world at once. Don't quote me on that though. All in all, this seems like a pretty fun game mode and I can't wait to get in there and see all that it has to offer. Okay, now for what most of you are probably here for, we've got the Storm Chasers update trailer. So it seems Lego Fortnite is now changing its title to Lego Fortnite Odyssey. And here's the trailer for that. All right, so that was pretty cool. So as you saw in the trailer, we're getting a big bad boss fight, the Storm King. Also noted in the tweet, we're getting a new biome, dungeons, enemies, and weapons. This is literally the stuff I was asking for in my wish list video, so I couldn't be happier. But let's discuss some of the things we saw in the trailer. So firstly, it starts off kind of showing us Lego Fortnite as it is today, showcasing all of the stuff we've gotten in a year's worth of updates. Then we see an ominous mountain in the background and we know that's where the Storm King is. I'm going to assume that's also where the new biome is because it looks like it has its own enemy types. I don't know the name of them just yet, so I'll call them Storm Enemies. I just pray these Storm Enemies are way stronger than anything we've come across in the snow biome. I'm really hopeful for a big difficulty jump. I didn't see a Storm Brute, but maybe they didn't show off everything we're getting. Now, I'm not sure how we'll actually engage the Storm King. Maybe we will have to like clear the dungeons first and then he's the big boss at the end. Guess we'll have to wait and see. However, I did think it was pretty interesting that Cuddle Team Leader was seemingly knocked out and then carried away. So maybe there's a way to not completely die and respawn in there, or maybe it's only an interaction if you're playing with other people. And lastly, I wanted to bring up the trident looking weapon. It had a cool in-air attack where it looks like you jump down and slam it into the ground for some kind of AOE effect. It seemed pretty cool. All in all, I'm super excited for the update tomorrow. I can't wait to get off work and play. 
Make sure you guys subscribe for more content covering this update. I'll be posting as soon as possible. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Peace.